Let's go to a question now talking about a mass airflow sensor that's not shorted, it's not open, but it's inaccurate. The PCM may, one of these following items, set a DTC for a mass airflow using a rationality test, B, not set any DTCs, but modify the fuel trims, C, create a substitute PID value, or D, all the above. Make your selection now. Well, the answer is D, all the above. And the reason is the rationality test, it's true. If we look at other sensors, intake air, throttle position especially, if it had to map and mass airflow both, look into map sensors, the computer says, hey, um, I hear you talking. You're saying uh, 100 grams per second, but I'm not buying it because I don't see that much decrease in map or increase in map voltage. I see the throttle pretty low, the RPM's pretty low. I don't see this as being a reality, so it flags a code. It may not set a code, but may modify fuel trim. This is just a bit off and the computer's fooled completely. No diagnostic trouble codes are involved. We'll have fuel trims that are higher or lower. And also a PID value being substituted. And I wanna make a little note right here in the middle of this question. If you unplug this sensor, any sensor for that matter on a car, and the car runs better, I mean, yeah, you'll set a light because now you've got an open circuit. Maybe you had a performance DTC before or no DTC, but you unplug it and the car runs better. As soon as that light comes on to flag the fact that this is unplugged or something else is unplugged, that's gonna set a default value in the, the data. In fact, if it's off and fails a rationality test, a performance test, it could also set a DTC and set a de default value. It could be a pending code, by the way, and not turn the light on yet, but you can see it in your scan tools, a pending code, and that's gonna also create a default value. Where do you see the default value of a made up number by the computer in enhanced engine data? Where do you see the real value of what this guy really is saying, not what the computer says, psh, psh, I'm ignoring you from now on, I don't trust you, and makes up a number, but what it really was telling the computer, you look in global or generic OBD2. So a place you might not go that much, you probably should go there more because with the CAN bus vehicles of today, 2008 and newer, there's 40, 50, 60 PIDs for drivability, for engine management that you can look at, and oftentimes there's plenty of data for you to fix the car.